I don't know how you feel so far about what you've seen in the last couple of days. It's only been a few days, you know. Um, I just got here Sunday, actually. So, you know, I came down. I've just been trying to get around as much teammate as I can. And um, specifically Caleb and Gabe and, you know, other um, DBs, you know, um, just trying to keep get up to pace. And But so far I've been liking the pace. You know, they've been attacking it every day. You know, defense has its battles, same with offense, you know, but that's that's the competition we want, especially going into this tough schedule this year. So um, um, I'm, I'm excited to be here in Provo, you know, get it going. I'm Right now I'm in the learning stage and just a sponge right now trying to learn as much as I can. So, I mean, to like kind of talk about you having to learn and stuff like that, what would you say the biggest difference is like so far from like JUCO to being here the last couple of days and stuff like that? Because, you know, I mean, yeah. I definitely came from different spots. Uh, I've seen a difference for sure, but I want to get your perspective on the situation. Yeah, so I've actually been to uh, two different ju uh, junior colleges. And um, so the first one, um, I went to ASA Miami, and that was out in Miami, so... That was live. If you know about Miami, it's it, it, yeah. It, it, you know, it sounds good, but <laughs> yeah, you know, running a football program down there, it, it's it's hard. You know, yeah. like, living is hard. Not having facilities, um, looking for meals. You know, eating one meal a day. So, and then um, you know, I spent a year there. You know, I really picked up on football there. It was actually my first year playing DB there. So, wow. um, after that, that's when I decided. Uh, you know to act, find new opportunities as far as getting recruited and stuff. So that's when I went down to Texas and um, went to Tyler Junior College. It's in um, Tyler, Texas, um, around hour and a half away from Dallas. So, um, you know, I got there. That was a little different from Miami. You know, we there we had dorms and we had a cafeteria, you know. I had teammates who actually loved the game of football much more and stuff like that. So, um that transition from there to there was it was it was pretty easy for me because I was just more appreciative of what I had at Tyler Junior College, and then um, you know so you know I got to Tyler Junior College pretty much in time for spring ball, and um, bought out a bit, and then um, that's when recruitment really started picking up after that, um, but not too much. And I was actually planning on going back to um, junior college for another year because you could play two more years, you could play two years in uh, junior college. Yeah. So, but. Um, I, I picked up one offer this summer, Austin P, and um, from there somehow um, BYU reached out to me and reached out to my coaches, and um, I was like, uh, BYU, how you guys found me? But then, like, <laughs> I was like, how you guys found me all in Texas, you know? And then, um, but then also we did get a, some new coaches um, at Tyler, Texas. Uh, and they're actually were GAs here at um, BYU. So, oh, okay. you know, that's how I actually learned about BYU. And um, they really connected me with the coaches as well. And um, before going on my visit, they kind of gave me a heads up and stuff. So, and then, um, you know, one thing I was looking for at the time was just honesty, you know, and uh, just a good family I could grow with. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm still in the progression stage. And that's what I was just really looking for and good teammates, you know, a good DB room to be around. So and, um, Coach Tanner Jacobson specifically, um, he's my head coach at uh, TJC and he's the one that um, he told me, he's like, you're gonna go to BYU, Coach Coach G is gonna help you out a lot. You're gonna have a lot of great guys. He, um, he talked to me a bit about Caleb because you know, he's gonna help you out a lot. So and I came on my visit and I happened to get paired up with these two guys here as well. And um, so I went on my visit and I was like, yes, yeah, this, this is everything that, you know, Coach Jacobson was talking about. So I just took the instinct and it's like BYU is home. So, you know, like you were talking about your visit here and stuff like that. I remember you telling me you had just flown back from Utah oh, because yeah. you had just gone to Utah State and you told me that was an interesting experience yeah. for sure. So like, I mean, show a little light, you know, I mean, yeah. it's a rival here, so you know, <laughs> they don't, we don't really like them, but like, uh, we'd love yeah. to hear about your experience over there compared to what you had over here. Yeah. Yeah. So when I got BYU, that's when I got Utah State and then, um, they're like, Hey, um, we got to get you up here right away. Um, I was like, uh, how soon? Because you know I have a visit um following Monday, it was like a Tuesday, 
was like, yeah, I got a visit this following Monday. And then they're like, okay, we'll get you down here Thursday. I was like, oh, stop. <laughs> but, uh, you guys fly me in and stuff, you know, because it's my first visit. You know, I'm like, you guys fly me in. How, how are we going to do this? And they're like, yep. So um, just send me your information. We'll get you down here Thursday. And that's when I got down here Thursday. I went out to Logan. And then um, it's they had a lot to offer as well. But, um, you know, I was I went in open minded, you know, even though my first offer was BYU, you know, they're going to the Big 12 and stuff. But I just stayed open minded and see what they could offer for me. And um, of course, but, um, you know, the coaches are there were great and stuff like that. But when I came to BYU visit, it was just like it didn't compare, you know, it was just like I. I feel I feel like I belong here with the players and stuff, the coaches, you know, and I feel like I feel like I'm cared about here and I can actually progress here and I can actually learn a lot here, you know. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but like personally, being here at BYU is like the deepest corner room I've ever been in like my whole life. I mean, I know really? you've been in JUCO, such like yeah. that, but like, I mean, at Vanderbilt, I had like seven guys in my freshman year and COVID was we got down all the way to like four guys. And then last yeah. year we probably had about six or seven. So now being in the room with like, I mean, when school starts, we'll have about 13, like, is that intimidating yeah. or like, or is it like cool experience or like, how do you feel about it? Cause like personally, I'm just like, yeah. there's a lot of people I feel like I got to give like nuggets of information yeah. to, but at the end yeah. of the day, it's going to be great. But like, I just feel like there's a lot going on in my yeah. personal opinion. Yeah. Um. So, you know, in junior college, DB room, I wouldn't, it's, as far as just corners, you know, it wasn't that big, you know, it was about eight of us. Yeah. Know, but like you said, it's a lot more here in like, you know, um, at BYU. And um, so, I mean, to, to be honest, it isn't that bad. And I like it. And what what makes it more comfortable for me is a lot of you older guys, a lot of you guys are older, you know. So, um, like, the thing with me is I just want to learn, you know. Yeah. That's the biggest thing for me is I like to pick up from older guys or guys who are more experienced, you know, in the game. Because, like I said, I've only been playing DB for, you know, a year, you know. And um, so, like, that's, that's just the thing. Just wanting to progress. Um, and also, you know, you guys going to be gone. Um, whatever your guys' situation will be next year. And... It's going to be my turn to be the leader, you know, because we got a lot of young guys. So um, I'm just trying to soak as much as I can from you guys, you know, before you guys head out. Because I got a couple more years to go here at BYU. I feel you. So, like, your personal opinion, you know, we had this conversation earlier when we were, yeah. in, when we were in the yeah. film room. So, yeah. you know, Caleb Hayes thinks he's the fastest dude on the team, you know. Personally, what do you think? The, what do you think the situation is? Because yeah. you know he said yeah. he's a four three guy. Yeah. Does, does that intimidate <laughs> you? Like, wh what's the personal opinion on the situation? Yeah, yeah. Kill, kill Hayes talked talked about his speed a little bit, but you know I, he's definitely a great athlete out there. You know, but um, I just don't think he hasn't seen. Stop it. But, <laughs> <laughs> I just think he has 